Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? I hope you're having a very good weekend. I haven't done a tag video in a while, so I thought I'd break up the book reviews by doing one today. If you'd like to tag me in a video, definitely let me know in a YouTube message. I usually check my messages through my Gmail account and start the messages that people have tagged me in so I don't forget who tagged me and what tags are going about. That's my way of organizing myself and reminding myself what tag videos I still have to do. So. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. The first tag I want to do, guys, is called the Bookalicious tag. And this was so rightly named because the Bookalicious channel created this tag. Christina Vlog 62 tagged me. Thank you, Christina, for the tag. I am very excited because these are really great questions. There's a lot of them. So let's get started. The first question is, what percentage of books do you get at the library? And what percentage of books do you buy at the bookstore? And I would say 0% at the library and 100% at the bookstore. I haven't been to the library at least to borrow and read books in a long long time probably since grade school yeah the books you get from the bookstore you get to hold and keep for yourself the next question is what character would you be and why and I would have to say Luna Lovegood from the Harry Potter series I love Luna's character a whole lot she is so crazy she's really weird strange whimsical quirky and she's also a really unexpected character she's very calm collected the next question is what is your favorite book from your childhood I would have to say Roald Dahl books I read my first novel by Roald Dahl, James and the Giant Peach in grade 3. I remember it because it didn't have any pictures in it and it was a big transition for me. I also read The Twits and Matilda which I really love. also really enjoyed the Robert Munch books, the picture books. I think his stories are just so fun and I love the illustrations. The next question is what is your favorite book and I'm answering this as of October 15th because my answers change all the time every time I read a new book. I would have to give it to George R.R. R. Martin's The Game of Thrones. I really really enjoyed that book. That book really really surprised me. I thought it would be kind of boring but it wasn't. Each chapter was amazing, very good, left you on a cliffhanger ending and the characters were great and the dialogue was great and the writing had a really timeless quality to it. The next question is what book series do you have the most books from? And that would have to be Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling, seven books in total. I don't think I've read a series that's more than seven books long, except you know the R.L. Stein books back in the day or the Bailey School Kids. I've read a lot of those but I don't own them so I guess those don't count. The next question is do you buy used books or use swap.com. I have heard of swap.com. I haven't used it though. I would like to buy used books. I haven't really considered it until it came to October. I really wanted to check out The Exorcist but no one had the book in the bookstore. For the older books that are out of print, I'll definitely consider checking a used bookstore or even swap.com for a used book. So the next question is who's your favorite hottest guy and or girl? And I would have to say Will Herondale from the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare. Yeah. You guys know if you read the Infernal Devices series. He is sarcastic, funny, witty. He's an ass sometimes, which is part of his hilarious nature, I find. He's also British, which is a plus, and it takes place in the Victorian area, so everything is extra fancy back then. The next question is, what is your favorite book cover? I would have to say the Harry Potter covers. US and UK editions, I love. I think the artwork and illustrations on the Harry Potter books are really, really really amazing, really whimsical. I also really enjoyed the Mysterious Benedict Society series and the illustrated covers on those books. I love it. They're just so quirky and kitschy and just so cute. The next question is what is your favorite type of book cover? And I really really enjoy illustrated covers a whole lot. When I did the middle grade month back in August, I really enjoyed looking through all of the books because all of them are pretty much illustrated and I love that fact about middle grade books and a lot of the adult books. I just think the creativity and illustrated covers are awesome. Next question is what is the first book you've ever read? And I can't really remember so I'm just gonna say The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. I love that book as a kid and it's just so cute and I just love the big fuzzy caterpillar on it. The next question is, what is your favorite book to movie adaptation? And I would have to say Fight Club, directed by David Fincher, is really great. I think he adapted Chuck Palahniuk's book Fight Club really well. Edward Norton and Brad Pitt did a great job and it really captured the mood and tone of the book
book. It was very dark. Also, I really enjoy the Harry Potter movies. I really like it. You know, I watched the movies first and I really enjoyed the cinematography, the special effects, and just how everything came to life. Next question is, when did you start making videos? And I started last year in August of 2010. The next question is, where is the best place to read? And I would say the bedroom. I usually read on my bed, which is kind of dangerous, especially if it's nighttime and you're feeling a little bit tired from either work or school and you start to fall asleep and take naps in between. And sometimes I can't tell if it's the book or the bed. Anyways, probably the bedroom is maybe not the best place to read. The next question is, have you ever written your own fan fiction before? I have not. No, all the fan fiction goes around in my head. Next question is, if you could only read three books for the rest of your life, what would it be? That's a hard question because I was scanning my books and I couldn't really pick. It's like, uh, because there's so many different genres and kinds of books you could read. But I narrowed it down surprisingly. I would read Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, The Emerald Atlas, and Anna and the French Kiss. I just really enjoy epic adventure books and you could always look to the middle grade genre for that and Harry Potter is by far the most epic middle grade adventure you can get. And The Emerald Atlas is a really great refreshing kind of adventure read that I found this year. And of course Anna and the French Kiss. I need to read something cute and adorable. I can't wait to read Lola and the Boy next hour. I've been seeing reviews up and I'm very tempted to watch it but I want to read it first so I could, you know, compare compare thoughts. Next question is, what is the longest book you've ever read? And that would have to be Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I believe that's over 800 pages. I would also have to give it to The Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I think that's over 600 pages, but it's quite dense. So if you actually made it to the font size and spacing of Harry Potter, it might be longer. I don't know. The next question is, if you could write your own book, what would be the title and why? And I don't know. I'm not a writer and I don't write things or have any really solid ideas for a book. The next question is, how many books have you read last month? And you guys know, we're like this. So I read four books, Speak, The Perks of Being a Wallflower, The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian, and Catcher in the Rye. The next question is, what is the last book you've read? And I just finished, I'm Not a Serial Killer by Dad. Wells. I hope to do a book review of that soon. I don't know when. The next question is, do you fantasize yourself in books? And yeah, I do. All the time. The next question is, what is your favorite bookstore? And here in Canada, we don't really have that many different bookstores. There is Chapters and Indigo, but they're kind of like sister and brother. They have similar selection and kind of the style of store. We also have McNally Robinson booksellers in the city, which I really like. They have kind of a unique selection. Books by authors that aren't too well known, they have, surprisingly, which is really great. And they have some cool, cool non-book stuff too. Next question is hardback or paperback and really either. I always hope to get the hardback version, I suppose. Some paperback versions are really cool though, so all depends, all depends. Next question is, do you have more than one copy of a book? And I do not. I don't do that because I'd rather buy a different book than the same book. The next question is, would you rather read about vampires or werewolves? And I don't know. I would read either, but preferably the monster kind, not the pretty fall in love kind. The next question is, do you own more than 150 books? If not, would you? And yeah, I would love to own more than 150 books. How about 150,000 books? And so those are the questions to the Bookalicious tag. That was crazy. Oh my goodness. If you guys haven't done this tag, please, please do. Tag, you're it. That was just one tag guys i'm here to do another tag and this is a very cool tag because it has to do with harry potter and this tag was created by two americans one aussie so the first question is when did you start reading the books and i started reading it this year 2011. better late than never i say i wish i read them before the movies so i wouldn't be you know tainted by the imagery but it's fine the next question is what is your favorite book out of the series and that's a tough question because i go back and forth between harry potter and the deathly hallows and harry potter and the half-blood prince those keep switching back and forth i really enjoy those books for very different reasons the deathly hallows is just an epic adventure it has a lot of great elements in the story it has a good balance between character development 
Coleman and the story and Ron and Hermione and Snape. Snape was awesome. Yeah, it was really good. But what I really enjoyed about the Half-Blood Prince was there was a lot of backstory to Voldemort's character, Tom Riddle. I really enjoyed learning about the villain. Also, who was spotlighted was Dumbledore. I love Dumbledore. He is most awesome and I was great reading more of his character and he was like actually spotlighted, not like found in one chapter or two throughout the book. They're kind of tied. Next question is, what is your least favorite book? I would say Chamber of Secrets. A lot of the meat and potatoes of the actual conflict didn't happen till the end. I was hoping for more craziness to top the first book, but it didn't really happen that much. And Gilderoy Lockhart, eh. he was annoying. The next question is, who's your favorite character? And I would have to say Dumbledore still. I love Dumbledore. He's so cool. I think in a previous tag, I would have him as one of my best friends. Oh, I also love Lupin in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. The next question is, who's the character you love to hate? And I love to hate Voldemort. I think he was amazing in The Half-Blood Prince. As I said in my series review, he is a handsome, manipulative bastard. He is. He's very conniving, cunning, very smart. And so he can manipulate and wrap people around his tiny pinky if you wanted to and, you know, crush them. The next question is, what's your Hogwarts house? And I'm not in Pottermore yet, so I don't officially know. But I think if I were to guess, possibly, maybe, I would be in Hufflepuff. Let me know what Hogwarts house you think I would be in. Leave a comment below. Let me know and your reasons why. And the last question is, what do you think of the movies? And like I said before, I really, really enjoyed the movies. I didn't read the books before watching them, so I didn't have anything to compare it to. But when I first watched them, I was in awe and amazement because it just looked so cool. And the magic and the feast. I loved the feast parts when Ron was eating, you know, or just anyone. They were eating and there was so much food and they, all the desserts. I'm gonna go to Hadney Dukes and just eat. That's not really related to this question. Visually, it was just stunning. It satisfied the eyes. You know, it's just great seeing the characters you read in the book really come to life. And it was, uh, yes. So that is the Harry Potter tag created by two Americans, one Aussie. I tag everyone to do it. If you haven't done a Harry Potter-like tag before, then definitely do one. Also, I wanted to mention, guys, my friend Sonia from Sonia the Book Lover is doing a giveaway on her channel. I will leave a link to that contest below. There are some specific rules you have to follow to enter in the giveaway. So be sure to watch the entire video and proceed to do so if you would like to enter. She's giving away three three books. One of them is a Bloodline, the second one is Warm Bodies, the last is The Unbecoming of Mara Dreyer. It's open to the United States of America and Canada, so I'm sorry for the international people. Anyways guys, I will talk to you later. Hopefully I could do a book review of Dan Wills. I am not a serial killer. Very soon. Have a good one. Bye!